What's up, Power fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I know people will be expecting me to say, I told you so about Unique. But I'll be talking about episode 10, why Unique is back, and why Raquel killed Howard, and how Howard's death is going to change a whole lot of things, and basically touch on every scene in episode 10 and of course if you are new to my channel you're welcome kindly hit the subscribe button like share leave your thoughts in the comment section below now let's get straight into the finale i won't pretend unique is a topic to skip so i'm going to start a video with that i hate to say i told you so but yeah it is what it is i expected this a month ago after re-watching that beating scene over and over again that if you are a killer you will kill well and the consistent wordplay by the writers where Ronnie first said his brother is going nowhere, to him telling Jukebox he's taking time off, to Panessa saying how protective Ronnie has been over Unique since he was a child alone, did the math for me. That moment I started thinking about the writers and not the characters playing what the writers write. Sometimes I know we all forget there is one cool sober individual behind the scene who is making these characters behave the way they are. The people we see on the screens are just the vessels that brings these behind the scene writing to life. So while a writer is simply playing your mind by writing some twists, the actors are the ones busy making those writings come to life. So you have to be ready to think beyond the movie and the storyline to know how the writer's mind could work. And trust me, these writers always end up leaving some type of pattern that they follow randomly. I stated most of them in my video on Unique's death, so you can check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below for you to check that out. I also give a detailed breakdown on how that beating Ronnie gave Unique cannot kill him. Because that metal was not a heavy metal like I said. The shop is a fashion shop and not a tool shop. There is no reason for a heavy broken metal pipe in a fashion shop in a bin. Now, why did they play Unique the way they did? Joy Badass or Unique was indeed going on tour and things need to work for both him and the show, so there should be some agreement. There is no way they will show four episodes without him and fans will not wonder what has happened to him since Unique is a round character. So to hibernate him for a while so he can concentrate on his tour, they have to make his temporal exit look good enough for his coming back to be epic. So to me, it wasn't surprising when that scripted interview was released immediately the episode was aired. What gave it away for me again was that TMZ interview when Joe said we should petition 50 Cent. I'm like, if you are truly dead, why do we need to petition that? And why will a dead person have to do an interview to confirm he is dead before we believe it? Even Omari, who played Ghost, has never confidently said his character was dead. He says so many things about money issues because you all buy it that yes, Omari's exit was financial purpose until today. That has been the main agenda. If you think about Ghost or Omari now, you will think about money issues and let it slide. Same way when you were thinking about Jobaras or Unique, you were thinking about his store, etc. This is a game. It is bigger than what we think. I heard some people saying the writers confirm Unique is gone. Even Joe Badas did it. He posted it on his Instagram that he is gone, etc. Which writer in his right senses will come and tell you differently from what he wanted you to believe? They always stay according to the script, even in their normal lives. And what you don't know is that there are people in this production cycle who are assigned to think about how to promote the show and get the numbers. That is their job and they will go every length to do a lot of make-beliefs, trust me. I am confident that the interview with People's Magazine was scripted and it never happened. It is not all evidence that are legitimate. This is internet. People can write whatever article they want and you can't punish them. I can choose to write an article on seeing God physically and some people will believe whilst others will not believe. So trust me, if you want to follow every publication, you end up judging people quickly. And I personally don't believe all these actors simply because of one thing, the confidentiality clause in their contract. And I believe I talked about this constantly in my videos. So you know. So until you see power as business beyond just a show, you will always be played all the time. So what I just want you to do is just give me my flowers and let's move on. <laughs> now, the finale was titled Made You Look. This alone made me have confidence that Unique wasn't dead. Now, the title was concentrated around three people, Raquel, Kenan, and Unique. 
Kanan made Raquel look while he took out Ronnie, something Raquel couldn't believe Kanan can do. It's a way to prove to Raquel that Kanan is no longer the scary little boy she knew and also can shoot to kill. Raquel then made Kanan look at her took out his biological father the way she wanted him to do long ago and he messed up. This scene is very significant to these two characters. Now the writers also made unique look at the same person who thought he had killed him now dead on the floor and for we the audience to also see. So for me the moment I saw this point of view shot through the car was when I knew someone was watching Raquel. Kanan and Marvin leaving the place. And for them to cut back to the inside now tracking the bodies from Howard to Ronnie, I knew something was up. So the moment I saw the leg, I shouted Unique is back even before they tilted to his face. Now this is a way to end a season. No wonder the season was renewed before it was even premiered. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now let's talk about Howard. The moment they took his gun and his badge from him, I knew he wasn't going to make it. Do you know why? The same thing happened to Detective Berg. Not long after the captain took her gun and badge, she was killed. Same thing happened to Howard here. So like I said early on about the writers using some patterns in their writings. This is a typical example. Same move, same motive, same shooting angle for Beck and Howard. This is a pattern from a writer. And I don't know if you have also noticed because Howard has overstayed and it was time for him to go. The moment he started pushing hard for Marvin to take the fall was the moment he signed his death warrant because there is no way Raquel would do Marvin dirty like that. Not when Lou is all messed up like this. So Howard and his own death with that idea and from all indications, Raquel realized he was getting in trouble that can risk all of them. She realized he really wanted Marvin to take the fall. That's why he never told her about the investigation they were running on Marvin. So clearly Howard needs to go and it was just the perfect time for Raquel to do it. She got the perfect opportunity, took Ronin's gun and took him out. Now what happens to the case? I think FBI cannot prove anything without Howard because Howard is their only lead to implicating Marvin since Gerard died. And the way Howard started shaking and looking for someone to blame, he himself just had to go. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Do you think Howard has overstayed or you think it's the perfect time to take him out? Drop your thought theories in the comment section. Let's have a conversation. Now what happens to Marvin? Now, it might seem as though there won't be any human trace of evidence to Marvin since Gerard and Howard are both dead, but he's not out of the woods yet. Why? Because the police believe Howard is in contact with Marvin, so they can still think Marvin has something to do with Howard's death. First, it was Gerard, their CI, and now one of their own. So their theories can be that Marvin figured Howard was getting in trouble and he took him out. The crime scene alone established Howard's involvement in the drug game. But with Raquel's lawyer in place, there is no way Marvin will go down for any of this, not for Gerald and not for Howard. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now let's talk about Famous. What his mother pulled was so hilarious but come to think of it, it was a beautiful way to validate the position of Famous when it comes to snitching. I believe the writers are trying to establish the fact that despite the softness associated with Famous character, he will always hold it down no matter what. I also think this scene is a build up to reunite Kanan with Famous so that we are assured that if Famous and Kanan work together, he won't snitch. And don't forget it takes a lot for someone to name his son after his friend as we all know Kanan named his son after Famous. So now that Ronnie is gone, I believe Kanan will reunite with Famous. Besides, he was the one who informed him about the shootout on his mother. And we will possibly start seeing other characters like Breeze, Tommy, Ghost and even Tasha coming on. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about whether there is a possibility of Famous and Kanan reuniting together as friends. Now most of you know this is not how Nino normally sounds. The energy is more higher than this. I need to address something that I want to get off my chest once and for all because this kind of thing made me lose subscribers and I also lost people watching my videos. I know it's all love but we need to be fair here and as suspected, yes, I told you so. I told you Unique wasn't dead and that is not the way to kill such a character who is very influential to the show. Look, you all have to start putting some respect on my name. People who have been with me from day one knows very well that Nino doesn't rush to give content. I don't compare myself to other creators on this platform because I believe everyone must have their opinion. I've never said I'm all-knowing but I believe in myself 
and logic. But man, some of you have to stop the rudeness in the comment section. Please stop the comparison. It is not healthy, y'all. I almost quit this YouTube thing because of some of your comments. Some people I believe haven't even subscribed to my channel. Always do that stuff setting agenda on my page to make people watch only their favorite creators. Some are like, I'm just doing clickbait, I'm doing this for money and my theories are wag and that Macduff and movie boots are more legit than me. But yo, the same Macduff told you guys unique is gone like countless time on his videos. He tells you what you want to hear and most of you are happy about it. Now that unique is alive, what does that make him? A liar? Well, it is what it is. Like I said, I don't rush my content. I don't want to be the first to bring you power content or spoilers. I am not in a competition with any creator. I take my time, write my scripts on every episode, record, edit, do all research and analysis, review with some trusted friends before I even upload here. I put in much work and so those of you who don't know, I don't just rush here if it is not making sense to me. If you've been following me long enough, you will know that I don't even break down trailers or promos that leads to the next episode. Promos are marketing tools and are cut differently from what is actually in the episode. So I don't review promos like other creators. I forgive all who insulted me when I did a video on Unique is Alive. I had to delete some of those ill comments and leave some. I hope you can give me my flowers now. I am not seen. I am always right. I made some analysis that went wrong, but I made most accurate analysis than your favorite creator so far. So if you are in the comments with other points of view, try and be polite because one day you end up looking like the way you are looking very ridiculous right now when you need pop up at the end of episode 10. You can say anything in the comment section, but don't compare me to others. I respect their effort and I don't watch their videos. The only reason I even went to watch Magda video recently was because someone tagged me with it to see how wrong he was and how happy you people were in his comment section about Unique dying. He's telling you what you want to hear and you agree to it and you loved it. Now that Unique pop up, it makes your comments look very ridiculous. Like I said, I might not be your favorite because you think I'm not saying what you want to hear or what everybody is believing. I say what makes sense and what doesn't. If you ever understand writing, plotting, movie making and film, you will have an open mind to things. And like I always said from day one, Ghost is still alive and I still stand by it. Whatever others say to you is their opinion. This is mine and one day you will find out that too. Peace to everyone. It's all love, but you have to respect my efforts moving forward. If you are new today and today is your first time watching my video, welcome to the family. I just finished a family discussion and I know you are lost, but don't worry. It's all love here. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.